three months ago, you may remember that we discovered that PewDiePie's 100 million diamond play button briefcase was on eBay for £145,000. Well, uh it's in that box. <laughs> yeah, we bought it. You'll be pleased to know I did not pay £145,000 for this, but I did still pay more than I would have liked, and I'll let you know at the end of this video. But first, let's get some context on this ridiculous purchase. So when you hit 10 million subscribers, YouTube sends you a black briefcase, and inside that black briefcase is a diamond play button, the most beautiful thing that has ever existed. But when you hit 100 million subscribers, YouTube sends you a red briefcase, and inside that red briefcase is a diamond play button with a little red diamond instead. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, in this box is not a 100 million diamond play button, but in that box is the red briefcase that that 100 million diamond play button came in. So it's still very exciting. So basically, at some point, PewDiePie got rid of the briefcase. I suppose to him it was just packaging that he came in. I assume he's kept the actual play button. But then someone found the briefcase and they whacked it on eBay just to see if they could get 150 grand for it. Now, although I've enjoyed watching PewDiePie's videos for a long time, I didn't purchase this because it originally belonged to PewDiePie. I purchased this because for the past couple of years, our focus on this channel has been collecting creator awards and creator award memorabilia in interesting and unique ways. As you can see, we have a lot so far. We've got plenty silver play buttons, we've got a couple of gold, but we are a very long way from 100 million. And having a briefcase that a 100 million play button once sat in is just amazing to me. Right now on YouTube, there are only two YouTube channels with 100 million subscribers. PewDiePie and T-Series. But as far as I know, there are currently three briefcases in circulation. There's the briefcase that T-Series got, there's PewDiePie PewDiePie's briefcase, which is now sat behind me, and then this is the third briefcase. So this briefcase is currently sat in a museum in Paris, waiting to be claimed by the next channel to hit 100 million subscribers, who I think is most likely going to be Coco Melon. <laughs> So I'm so excited to open this, but before we do, I feel like we need to comprehend how big a deal this actually is. There are three of these briefcases in the world, and only two YouTube channels in the entire history of YouTube have ever been given one of these. So this is the only video that T-Series have got of them receiving the 100 million red diamond play button, and the video doesn't feature the briefcase at all. I assume it was sent to them in the briefcase, but they took it out of the briefcase because they wanted to just hand them the play button. And also, it's a pretty terrible video because this fella shoves his big fat head in front of the camera. Jesus Christ. So I don't know if they've still got the briefcase. Maybe they chucked it out as well. But here you can see YouTube and T-Series actually holding their diamond play button. And then this is the one actually sat behind me. This is just ridiculous. This video has 56 million views. Let's give it a watch. Got a letter in the post. Oh, look, there it is. Mm, what is this? So it's a cool briefcase, isn't it? I like it? the colour scheme, YouTube. Absolutely nice. unreal. And there's the actual play button, so it's just like the diamond one, but it's red instead. So what's inside did a full video showing how they create the red diamond, and it's actually a ridiculous process. It's very, very difficult. So make sure you go watch that if you haven't seen it. But then, watch this bit. They get the red diamond. There's our briefcase. They plonk it in, they plonk it in. Oh. <laughs> It fits! Fantastic stuff, Lincoln! So then they do this incredible montage with the briefcase. We've got one of them briefcases, it's right in there. They travel across France with the briefcase. Don't worry, we're recreating that montage in a second. And then yes, they're in this beautiful crystal museum. They take the diamond play button out of the briefcase and they put it there so that people can come and visit it. And as soon as lockdown is over, I'm heading to that museum in Paris so that we can go visit it. And we are taking our briefcase with us. So yeah, hopefully you can see now why this is just so exciting for me. As a collector of YouTube awards, to have just the thing that the biggest YouTube award that exists was packaged in is just amazing to me. But how much did I pay for it? Well, <laughs> so the eBay seller listed it for 145000 which I think was a little bit wishful thinking, to be honest. And nobody bought it for that much, obviously. So he relisted it once again for the same price. Then he relisted it a lot lower at 29000 because it was continuing not to sell. Obviously, this is an amazing item, but it is just the thing that the award came in. You can't be expecting thousands and thousands for it. And basically, this process just continues over and over again. This one got a few bids, but they must have just been fake bids and he didn't actually receive the five grand. And basically, I kept messaging him over the last three months and I offered £1,000, which is a lot of money just for a briefcase. But because it's such a big deal and this is kind of what we're specialising, that felt worth it to me. He kept denying and I kept messaging. This went on for about six weeks and eventually we concluded on £1,500. I spent £1,500 on the thing in that box. And to be honest, I don't think that's the worst price in the world. I think there's a lot of people out there that would spend a lot more than that because this belonged to PewDiePie. This is the 100 million award. That's absolutely crazy. Some of you might think that's way too much money. Others might think I got a really good deal. That's up to you to decide. All we need to do right now is crack into this fella. I really hope it's not damaged or broken or fake. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, it looks amazing. Look at what I'm peeking at. So you move this out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Two different people, well, one person and a giant corporation, have been given the thing in this box. This is mad. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, it's in absolutely beautiful condition. Perhaps a couple of little marks on it. This briefcase that I'm holding right now is the exact same one that PewDiePie is holding right there. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big, isn't it? It's absolutely massive. So it is in really, really nice condition. I mean, since I moved my sofa, there's been a big old gap right there. And I reckon that that helps fill it. <laughs> well, I think we should open it up, really, shouldn't we? Can you imagine if the Red Diamond play button was just in there? <laughs> okay, and... <laughs> oh my god, whoa. Is that how big a diamond play button is? So when I'm looking at this on my camera, that looks like about the size that I expect. But when I look at this in person, this is it in comparison to my head. It's bigger than my head. Oh my god, this is so cool. You have no idea. This is the location that that red diamond play button sat in. That is just so cool. Here's a nice close-up for you. There's lots of little marks on the inside, like these kind of things. Is that a thumbnail, do you think? It fits. I don't know whose, but there it is. Here's another nice Nice shot for you. Unreal. Look at that. Look at it with our other play buttons. <laughs> I've earned this. I've also earned this. But I am 1% of the way to earning this. Which is just absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's mad. That really is mad. <gasps> we needed to do the music from the What's Inside video. Editor Kai, put me in this montage. Okay, this is it. Our 100 million YouTube briefcase. Absolutely insane. It's so cool. I just love it so much. <laughs> There's a wonderful piece to our collection. I reckon I might have to get a shelf put up, to be honest. I don't think we can have this just lying around on the floor. So now we've got this briefcase. It's kind of a shame that we don't have a diamond play button to keep inside of it. Alright, ready?